Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a tutorial using two new goodies from Tom Ford. They recently have, I think, I don't remember how many they're discontinuing, but they're discontinuing some of their quads and introducing some new ones. Now, when I did my VIB or Rouge bonus sale, whatever they want to call it from Sephora. I was talking about how I was waiting to see all the quads that were coming out, but I was interested in this one in particular, which is the 27 Virgin Orchid. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to show you this up against Nude Dip. This is the same formula of Nude Dip and Honeymoon, just so that you can see the differences between the two. And I also talked about this lipstick right here. This is number two, La Nudite, and it's the Satin Matte Formula. Well, on my little date day, <laughs> we went to Nordstrom, and Nordstrom was price matching, I think, Neiman Marcus, so it was 20% off, so I went ahead and got it. Yesterday, I did a very soft look with it. I really liked it, and I thought I'm going to do a little bit more dramatic look with it today and show you guys. That way, maybe the video will be up before the sale is over so you guys can see both of these in action because, like I said, I was interested in them both, so if you were interested in them, I wanted you to be able to see them. So let's go ahead and jump into the look. I'm starting off with a dark purple shade on a MAC 242 and I'm going to pack this onto the lid. I'm not really using very many swiping motions initially. I pack it on in small little sections so that I get the perfect amount of color payoff because I want this to be pretty dark and vampy. Then with a Goss number 19, I'm taking the gray shade. It kind of has a slight purple to it, but it's mainly gray. And I'm taking that into the crease first and then blending this upward. And I'm working it in slowly and going back and forth and adding the color in. I'm using these all dry, by the way. You can use them wet if you wanted to. You could also use the pink to do this if you wanted it to turn out a little bit more purple pink, but I was sticking with the more cool tone look. Now I'm taking that same gray shade and the same brush and I'm going to work that right along the lower lash line. Back in with the Goss number 18 and the dark purple, I'm going to take that into the crease just to make sure that everything is nice and blended and I don't have a harsh line between the gray and the purple. And I'm taking the purple again on a Goss number five and I'm pushing that right up against the lower lash line. I don't wanna smoke it out too much because I'm not gonna be wearing lashes. And if I don't wear lashes, I don't like it to be too smoked out on the bottom. Now with that beautiful white shade, I am taking a MAC 242 and I'm highlighting the brow arch. This is so pigmented, you could totally use this for your highlighter as well if you are fair enough. With my finger, I am taking the pink shade and I am tapping that on the center of the lid and then I am blending it out. I wanted to make this a little softer and have a little bit more dimension and I just think that this looks absolutely stunning. If you wanted it to be a little bit more intense, you could go in with it wet. Same color in the MAC 228 and I'm going to use that for my inner corner. And then I'm going to finish off the eye look with some mascara and some inner rim liner. I'm using Boss at the top inner rim from Milk Makeup and then I went in with the holographic one this time. <laughs> this is the shade PTO and I don't know if you can see it. it it kind of looks kind of purple with this purple. It's like blue, purple kind of shift, semi-holographic, but more just like a shift to it. And it's the first time I've used it, and I think it looks beautiful with this palette. Now, I want you guys to be able to see this color applied. I put on my Rimmel liner first, number 49, but I did not fill in the lips so you can see the true color. And this is absolutely stunning. Stunning, you guys. Oh, it's right in between, like I said. It has a little bit more peach brown, so it's not as pink as SS19 or as mauve as London Suede. But this is so pretty, and I really, really enjoy this formula. I mean, I love this look. Like, the whole look, I just think is, I don't know. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling kind of vampy and sassy right now. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know if you did. I am 
So looking forward to all the other ones that are going to be released. I wish they would just do it at one time. No, I don't. No, I don't, because that would hurt my pocket. <laughs> I like that they're releasing them a few at a time. There's a purple one already out as well, but I don't know. I just felt like I didn't need that one. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.